Ooh, curse for 250 gold with immediate shop is always a spicy start. Really good looking act overall. We can get many elites. So this is tempting. The colorless card starts have worked out pretty well for us on Clad. I would start clicking these as a, a matter of habit on Ironclad, I think. And random common relics always just fine. Drelf with the prime sub in the seven months. I'm going to take this 250 gold for a curse. The decay curse. No biggie, no biggie. We should be able to get through the first fight without substantial loss of limb or life. Hmm. We're a lot less likely to draw three strikes next turn. Although 32 minus 17... Is that what, 15? That's 15. So we are not particularly likely to get three strikes. Question here is, uh, do we bash strike the acid slime and KO it, or do we take out the spike, or do we hit the spike slime, trying to finish the spike slime before it attacks us? Normally in this position, I would hit the spike slime, but that we have an extra curse in the draw pile really lowers our odds of getting the kill. They'll both attack us next turn, guaranteed. So we guaranteed save four health by hitting the acid slime, but we consign ourselves to always being hit by the spike slime. I guess the question is, what exactly are the odds of getting all three strikes? Where's the uh, hypo geometric calculator? Galc. All right, so we have seven cards. We need to get three out of three with five draws. So we're at 28% chance to get the kill. 28.5%. Um, and then what am I evaluating here? We have to multiply that percentage by the hit point difference between the two lines. If they both attack us, it's going to be, what, 14? The Gray Slime always attacks for 10, right? Yeah, it's always 10. So we're looking at 14 next turn, guaranteed. Um, we may draw one or two defense with Frail. We may also draw a K, adding two more damage. So let's assume we we draw one defend if we get a kill. We draw two defends if we don't. So we would block six, presumably take 16, so we lose 10. Uh, if we get the kill, then we are going to be taking just four damage from this guy, blocking one and presumably taking two more, so, or blocking for three. So we take three. So we assume seven hit point difference between the lines here. Uh, and I put that back into a calculator. Something like that, anyway. How's it going, Ika? Hello, hello. Take 10 times 0. 0.72, the inverse of the probability. So we'd expect to take 7 on average by hitting this one first. We'd expect to take how much on average by killing this one? We'd be looking at 10 guaranteed. So maybe 12, we block up to 6. 6 or 9. Kind of similar either way, it looks like. Very close here, these two lines. 
I, uh, even if you could prove to me that mathematically one had a slight edge over the other, it doesn't really convince me that one is significantly better than the other here. Um, so do we raise the floor or lower the ceiling? I guess is the question. I'm going to kill the weak one. Decided. Just pick a line. All right, we would have would have been rewarded for uh, for hitting this one, but that is a okay. We only take four anyway. Uh oh, mistakes were made. And consider this possibility, where we end up getting attacked again. Bummer. Definitely a bit of a bummer, but we didn't take too much damage. Fighting Guardian. So I think I'm going to go Metallicize over Combust first card here. It's my favorite Ironclad build. Pocket Watch is my favorite Ironclad build. All right, we keep the curse, but it's easily worth it for uh, what is arguably the best relic in the game for this character. Uh, maybe not best, but one of the best, for sure. That makes me want an Evolve a lot less. Hmm. Wish I could afford a second win alongside this. Yeah, zero thought of Frozen Eye Curse Remove? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. This, this thing is way too good. Three cards per turn, please. Please and thank you. Let's go uh, one event here, actually. I do want the possibility of a remove. Aha! Easy game. All right. And now we win. I guess I'll take a shrug. Damage card would be good here. Although, we actually don't need damage as much as you might think. Uh, in, in order to beat early elites here. For the hit points, John Worm. Okay, here's good damage. Hemokinesis, especially if we can upgrade it, will provide ample power. So, normally, pretend we don't have a pocket watch for a second. Ironclad with five strikes, four defense, bash, metallicize, shrug, hemokinesis, no potions, goes into an elite fight in Act 1. Expect he has a bad time. You know, maybe you win with 30 or 40 damage, depending on which elite you fight, but overall, this should be complete misery. Total destruction in an elite fight, right? With Pocket Watch, that ain't true. Morning, Dog Barker.
We have to do that one more time, the uh, Chemokinesis. Actually, we do still take a lot of damage to this fight. This is a bad fight for us. And a kind of rough draw order, too. Uh, let's see. Hemo Bash next turn is going to deal 9, and this will deal 13 goes to 19. 9 plus 19 is 28. Got to put you to 28 if we want to kill next turn. Okay, that was still pretty painful, actually. Um, but instead of, you know, outright dying to this fight, which you easily could with this deck otherwise, we prevail just fine. We're doing okay. Get a potion belt so we can hold all of these potions we've been picking up. And, well, our first potion. We want a demon form. Easy scaling. I like demon form a lot more with the... Pocket Watch. So there's also Blood for Blood, which goes well with Hemokinesis here. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Now I'd have to upgrade the Blood for Blood rather than the Hemo. Try the Demon Form. It's a cool early scaling piece. Normally would be a bit of a curse. Acquired so early. But Pocket Watch provides. I do think I want the Strength Potion for this fight. Gonna have to keep reinvesting in our combats, at least for the time being. 22 plus 8 is only 30? Painful. Oh well, still better to go on. How's it going, gamer cat? How? A uh, busted crown is the answer. So how? Stinking busted crown. That's two damage either way, huh? It's fine. And with 26 health, which I'm not completely thrilled by, but I still think we're okay. Because the further we get into this act, the easier the fights will get. We pick up a swift potion. <clears throat> we're offered a bludgeon. That's a pocket watch card. Although it's not exactly a demon form card now, is it? Um, I think I'd prefer to take a true grit here, allowing us to exhaust another card in hand. Probably wants an early upgrade to become a good block card as well as a good pruning card, allowing us to get rid of other cards in the deck. We also get two upgraded strikes, which is fine by me. You could maybe make an argument for picking up that bludgeon to give the whetstone a chance to upgrade it, but I actually don't really want that bludgeon, so whatever. Or a Calcum is quite nice. That's guaranteed block. If we end our turn without block, gain six. Now I'm very confident our next elite fight will be very easy. Whether it's Laga or Gremlinob. And we're offered another curse in exchange for some money. This one we don't want, I don't think. Disagree. Look at me with disappointment. All you wish. Mr. Serpent. So here I'm going to go Metallicize, Hemokinesis, True Grit. Next turn, Orichalca, Metallicize will full block. We have less block cards to redraw into here. Rorg, indeed. It's a bit late for demon form. Looks like we have to get tapped next turn, though, huh? Unfortunate.
Take 24 minus 9. Uh, that's, yeah, that's pretty sad. Nothing I can do about it either. Well. Ouch. We have to play Hemokinesis to win. Yes. So we go to 7 here. But we get a mummified hand, making a random card in hand free upon playing a power. Now the deck is starting to look a lot better. Um, and a Heart of Iron for six Metallicize. And a Dark Embrace or a Second Wind. Oh my goodness, okay. Uh, wow. Bit early for this Dark Embrace, actually. We should probably take Second Wind. This is starting to get very silly. I'm going to take the Second Wind. Mummy Hand does encourage the Dark Embrace, it's true, but with only a True Grit for Exhaust, uh, I don't think we can get away with it. Can I get away with going into a fight on 13 health? I think with the Heart of Iron, I can. I really want this True Grit upgraded. Let's do that. Could have been worse. Definitely so got to kill this one next turn. Um, let's bring this one down to six as well. That way we can kill them relatively easily. With the strike plus. Cool, we can get uh, two out of three here. Or maybe I second win. We get block one, two, three times. We can true grit second win, full block. Take zero here. Let's do that. Wait, I miscounted, I think. All good either way. Excellent fight. Essence of Steel, a further way to stack end of turn block. That's kind of cool. Should have taken the Dark Embrace. I want two True Grits. Two Grits, as it were. I think maybe we wait for Act 2. Already got a good upgrade in Demon Form here. I would actually take a second Metallicize in this deck. I think I want a True Grit, though. Easy game. Don't think I bother playing Hemokinesis here. This fellow can't even touch us. He's too weak. Yeah, this pocket watch relic seems okay. It's uh, simply drawing three cards per turn every single turn. Seems good. Need to true get there. Upon review of the footage. Being silly. Six more health, and now we're up to four potions. Actually, this run feels very good. Armaments can upgrade so many cards. Get in here, armaments. Let's upgrade this armaments. Uh, armaments, just like the second wind, effectively scales with the number of cards in your hand. And so the more cards you draw, the better it is. This bad boy can upgrade so many cards. He slaps the hood of the deck. I wonder if I bother using Liquid Bronze against Guardian. I think we're pretty good at Guardian here. 
We just have to actually, at some point, play the demon form. Although, what if I get bonked next turn? Sure looks likely, actually. Hmm. Well, I could do Arma Strike Strike for maximum damage. Alright. Her if you don't hit me, though. We can use the draw pot to try to get Hemokinesis here. It's currently, this won't do. Although I could second win for 20 block. That's kind of nice. Um, Bash Hemo would be enough, yes. Yes, so I'm going to play Bash and then draw pot. And either we can Hemokinesis or we can second win, I assume. A little spooky. Okay, there we go. Now we should actually have an opportunity to put uh, our powers in play or whatever. Although perhaps not the demon form. Increasingly thinking that maybe I did want a Thorn's Potion here. We just need to Demon Form. No, no, no. We just need to Demon Form. We can do that next turn, guaranteed, right? Although, the turn after that is a Bash turn. We should be able to block that Bash. So just... Don't draw this turn. Sounds good. Demon form. We couldn't ever die to this. Let's see. Is 13 plus 35 enough? It's 48. No, that's a little bit shy. So we should block this. We can do Shrug, Defend, True Grit. And that's most of the damage blocked. Get rid of the Hemokinesis now that we have Demon Form in play. Take four. And a dad joke for the crowd courtesy of Zeishin. Which boss of the Spire is the fattest? The Lardian. That is all. No refunds to shit. Alright, lose the stinky unupgraded strike. Stinky armaments. There we go. Slow and Steady wins the race against the Guardian, scaling out of its league with metallicized demon form armaments. Ended up with a pretty neat little set of cards here uh, at the end of Act 1. I think we're quite well set up for future acts. And we're offered a feed, which I'm super taking over the other options here. Fiendfire with Pocket Watch, very strong. But feed with armaments and really good block is going to be very powerful, very consistent scaling. Almost makes me wish we'd taken the uh, dual wields. Hmm, Mark of Pain, Empty Cage, Runic Cube. I don't totally dislike Empty Cage, but three energy per turn is going to be a bit difficult to work with here. Second Wind maybe speaks for taking Mark of Pain here. I definitely would not mind more energy. Seems like we struggle if we only have three.
Mark literally adds two defends to the deck. Thanks, Mark. Yeah, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Let's take Mark. Mark's a good guy. Interesting act layout here. Doof God, thanks for the prime sub of the 19 months. We want fights. Fights are good. Shop is also good with this much money. And the shop locations are pretty limited. We're not going here, so yeah, let's go here. Let's see what the shop has. Hmm. Ouch. It's gonna get a lot better, huh? This might be Essence of Steel. Let's do it. play two strikes, I only draw five cards next turn. Uh, I guess relying on the passive block is fine, right? We block for 13. Take one here, but we get to play demon form. is enough. Should be able to land an upgraded feed in this fight. Make back some of our hit points that we lost. Use you. Why did I take one? Because uh, blocking on that turn would have caused us to take more damage, is why. Would deactivate our relic. Flame Barrier. That's a good pocket watch for energy card. Great for dealing damage back, too. Stacks with thorns. I like it. Second, second wind, also a cute option. You know what else I like a lot here? The Abacus. Whenever you shuffle the draw pile, gain six block. If you're drawing eight cards per turn, you do that quite a lot. Uh, even more so if you delete some of your own cards. Dark Shackles is a very good defensive card. We should consider that as well. Dropkick. Abacus Shackles Dropkick. Cute. Very cute. That's not a terrible idea. Although we don't have good access to Vulnerable currently. We do have access to Vulnerable at least. I think it might be Dark Shackle's card remove for me. Get rid of one strike here. Sounds good. Don't need an infinite here. Infinite is excessive. Hmm. 
flame barrier. I don't necessarily need to use my potion here. Might be better used on Book of Stabbing or something. Sanctimony, thanks for the prime sub. And Lex is a Phoenix, thanks for the prime sub and the three months of support. Why the? But why? The one that's buffing. I'm going to try preserving liquid bronze at the moment. That's what I decided. This will do four times six. Good damage. Not quite a full block, though, so we have to play the metallic size, too. Perfect. Yeah, didn't need to use that potion. Root Reducer, thanks for the Prime sub and the 17 months of sub port. And what did I say about the freaking True Grit? Get in here. Carnage Plus is also pretty good. Do I need to consider maybe having more damage? Actually, I probably do, huh? Hmm. We're a little bit light on, uh... Deeps. Especially with our strike on. Okay, let's grab the Carnage. Damage in this economy, it's true. Carnage also handily disposes of itself when unwanted. Did not actually get the Dark Embrace. Okay, gotta be careful here. Definitely such a thing as too much block. Certain fights like this one uh, will massively punish us for not having damage. So here's a really good example of Carnage being much better than Prugrit. Must kill that cultist quickly. I'm okay landing an unupgraded feed for the kill here. That would be fine. I'm a okay with that. Picking one, one is fine. Not add another status to the draw pile. Couldn't have uh, played that strike, though. Abacus is here. Good job, Abacus. We have to stop now. We just Dark Shackles you. This goes pretty low, so we could do Dark Shackles Bash Carnage. I think that's probably the wisest thing here. Yeah. Try to kill on the next turn. Okay, that went very well, and uh, again, really showcasing why we had to take that Carnage. Pretty scary fight without it. Cool. I could go three elites from here if I'm feeling really capable. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't have to be the burning elite either. Ooh, I like that. Let's try this. Can always opt out. Well, can we? Could opt out of the third one. Press sites are doing what for me? 
Not much. Another good carnage moment. Wish Flame Barrier was somewhere else. We've got Dark Shackles, though. This should be fine. It's shackled, nerd. Another fight where I'm happy to use uh, unupgraded feed. More than happy. Ten, eleven, six. That's not enough, huh? Uh, with the with the block that it gains when we hit it. So we'd hit it for hit it for ten, it gains three block, so it goes to eighteen. We hit it for six, goes to twelve, then it gains four block, goes to sixteen. This is not kill sixteen. Zeeves, thanks for the prime sub in the two months. And Raven 3010 with 37 months. Take a little bit of damage then. Maybe we score a upgraded feed out of the deal. We do. Delightful. Hmm. Rage, Headbutt, Iron Wave? Probably not. Could maybe see some use for Headbutt, but I don't think so. Let us upgrade a card. I guess upgrading Demon Form going into the Elites could be good. Kind of hard to play with armaments. Yeah, let's upgrade the demon form, I guess. Other option is fight the elite first so that we can rest afterwards if we need to. Let's actually do that. Go straight into the elite. It is the Book of Stabbing. I think this is what we kept Liquid Bronze for. Also, ouch. But my face, though. Definitely in a damage race against the book. Not play either of these defends. Block for six with Orichalcum. Take 18. All right, well, there's Armament's Demon form. Let's do it. Nice. Made the True Grit free. Good. Very good. Who's a strike? I don't really want to lose Shrug. For 24 again on the turn that I drew Flame Barrier Dark Shackles. What the heck? Now you're just cheating. You're cheating, book. Go so Flame Barrier, Metallicize, Second Wind, I suppose. That means losing Dark Shackles, sadly. But I can't full block otherwise. Yeah, it's 15%, it's, uh, right? Yes, 15% chance to single attack. Um, which, But it can't be used twice in a row, so it's... It's either multi-multi-single or multi-single. And it can open with the, the big hit. Because screw you. Stinky cheating book. See, now I'm like hopelessly getting murdered here. This is bad. Very bad. Um, yeah, we're screwed here. Shoot. But my face. Glad I allowed for the chance to rest, I guess. Still. Very rude. 
Break Strike would kill easily. Can I full block this? <clears throat> Can I full block this? This is 42. We can block for 9 plus 15. Currently we have 20. So yes. I'm going to eat you now. Brawn Scales from the Book of Stabbing, a classic. Second Second Wind is here. Looking a bit better than the last one, honestly. Let's do it. Let's do that one. The Third Wind. And yeah, I'll sleep to get some health back. That actually turned out okay. That was a that was a tough elite, but turned out okay. Of course that we faced this. Help. Um, is this my heart of iron? Good lord. Tough act too, that's for sure. I think this is my dexterity potion. Block 7 plus 10 plus 4, 21 takes 6. Okay. Let's do that. then. It goes to 18. But have the second wind. That's fine. Frail, and we have um, three block from Amicus here. Overall, not a bad fight. Fourth wind. Could take a body slam, but I don't totally love it. Not bad. Definitely this is the sort of deck that could transition to using body slam. It would be a lot better if we'd taken that dang dark embrace. Which I'm starting to regret not picking up. Hey, at least 91 gold throw for a power through right now. Yeah, no kidding. It's good on occasion. It's also bad on occasion. I don't think I want it yet. Let's see what the chest has. A meal ticket. That's more healing. With this much health, I always like more healing. Particularly like meal ticket for being a top-up in Act 4. So you don't have to choose to rest. You could use that campfire to upgrade or something. We're doing well, but not nearly well enough for me to feel like this is a good idea. Let's go this way. Lights. Bites plus feed are not bad, actually. 30 max health is a lot to give up here. I don't think so, but this this is pretty borderline. We could use this to heal to full in a lot of opportunities, in a lot of uh, situations. And it could dramatically help us with getting two elites. But I don't think so. So we heal the full? K kind of, yeah. Once again, we face the chosen plus one. This time it's just a little nerd bird, though. Shouldn't be too hard. Hopefully still going to need Carnage's Contribution. 
right here. Perfection. So the bird only did lands two hits here, because it takes seven damage back. We could even make it uh, one hit. They're currently blocking 16. Delete that defend. 21. So yeah, we strike the bird to save one health. Dare. Uh, is Bash Himokinesis feet a kill? Looks like it probably is, yeah? That'd be 6 plus 22-ish. Yeah, that should kill. Make sure Strike doesn't get there. 13, 10. No. Cool. Good job, Himokinesis. Still justifying your presence in the deck. It's kind of cool. Does the Ironclad play his musical performances? Carnegie Hall. It's <laughs> great. Also, really like explosive potion going into this elite here. That worked out. We don't have any AoE, huh? Hmm. Mildly alarming. Only mildly. Let's do this. sort of optimize the damage there, and we get to play demon form. That's encouraging. I think I should delete all these so that we can draw more damage. I kill the fat gremlin and bash the leader. 74 health. We have four points of strength. We know exactly what we're drawing. With four points of strength, this would be 13, goes to 19. Hemokinesis would be... 24 goes to 36. Speed upgraded would be 16 goes to 24. Do 79 damage. Yeah, so that's a guaranteed upgraded feed if we do this. Take one plus two from the Hemo. Candle, probably not that useful. What about a Juggernaut, though? Dealing damage each time we block. We have two second wins. We have Metallicize or a Calcum. We have Mummified Hand. That's a very good Juggernaut. And we didn't lose much health, so let's fight another Elite. Is the Stream Elements bot doing that? That's funny.
Electricalism. Did you hear about the ironclad who likes to embrace people? He's the Huggernaut. No refunds, even if you really want one. Upgrade this feed. Could he use Carnage to kill more cleanly? That would have been exactly 42, but then I don't get to feed, so... Nope. You tear. You freaking dare. Juggernaut, go! Very satisfying. And a disarm to remove enemy strength. How many cards has Pocket Watch drawn so far? Oh, just, just a casual 250. You know, an average of 15 per combat. Not that many. So uh, this is one of the fights we were more afraid of. I don't think I'll, I don't think I'm afraid enough to use the Heart of Iron here, and I'm never really getting a turn one kill. So we just have to tank some damage. Let's go Carnage, Jackals, Strike, draw eight. We don't take that much actually. We don't become weak either, which is quite nice. This is fine. Hmm. Have to commit bash and strike to guaranteed kill this fool. This would be maybe a, a moment for Gambler's Brew. Wouldn't say it's required, but this would be a good time to consider it. Ninja Pears, thanks for the very generous advanced payment of six months of tier two. Getting the discount for the half year. Thank you. Emokinesis kills cleanly. Second strike kills cleanly if I keep the first one. Could keep the Juggernaut. Like you'd YOLO on the mummy hand and perish here? I'm thinking about it. Well, maybe not a YOLO, but rather play the Juggernaut, see what it makes free, and if it doesn't make either attack free, we can Gambler's Brew. I do think we want this Juggernaut in play to make the rest of this fight much smoother. Although we're really not taking that much damage if I just do Bash Strike True Grit. Problem is we'll have to cycle around for the feed. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not going to use my potions here. Got plenty of health for champ currently. Definitely not worried there. Twenty-two. I'm okay with that. So I should maybe be getting this guy next.
fine. It's fine. Gee, maybe that was too much damage. Easy. Even got it upgraded. Never punished. Cool. Uppercut looks good. We don't actually have weak or vulnerable yet. Or potions, apparently. Hello? Ah, and now we should upgrade demon form, as this is the main way we're going to beat the champ here. I guess Juggernaut is going to perform a significant role also. Easier to upgrade with armaments, though, as you can see. slow down our damage output for a moment here. Once he gets below half health, we enter phase two of this fight. Let's see if we can stall a bit. build up some strength with demon form. And he naturally won't attack us next turn either, I believe. But currently, if we bring him below half health, uh, we won't be frail or vulnerable for execute, so let's go right now. We also won't be weak. Pretty sweet. Defeat impossible. It's attack nerd. Twenty two by two. Pathetic. Pathetic, I say. Get eaten. Sir. Delicious. And nutritious. Skipped bites, because I figured we might get a Reaper. With this demon form, the Reaper is much better than the bites. As far as a uh, way to keep ourselves high on hit points here. Interesting. Very interesting. I actually quite like it. So, normally... Normally I would pick Pyramid over Sneko Eye. However, um, the Pocket Watch actually really speaks strongly against Runic Pyramid. Because it's basically impossible to use a Runic Pyramid and Pocket Watch at the same time. There's, there's a few ways to do it, but basically impossible. The Snekowai, meanwhile, really synergizes with the Pocket Watch, allowing us to draw up to 10 cards per turn if we only play three on the previous turn. And having our costs randomized doesn't seem like the worst thing. Two cost, two cost, two cost, three cost, two cost, two cost, two cost. There's a lot of expensive cards in this deck. And we have Mummified Hand to randomly make stuff free as well. So this Snekowai looks really good to me. Give me that.
Now, where's a heavy blade when you need one? Let's go here. That's not a bad path overall. Cool. Yeah, I like that. My hand is full. And my demon form is free. But my dark shackles are not. Seems bad, actually. Let me just kill this one. Dark shackles this one. Disarm this one. Take one. I like seeing numbers that are this large on the health thing. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, no. What do I do? What do I do? Ein Shah, thanks for the 20 months. You like round numbers? Snekoi is round. So, therefore, any numbers it makes must be as well. I think with the Juggernaut, this Feel No Pain is actually ludicrous. That is a good heavy blade, though. This is way too good. What character is Sneko best on? I think it's Clad. I think it's Clad, with uh, probably second place being Watcher. But Clad, far and above, really wants the card draw and benefits from the cost randomization. More so than the others. Thanks, uh, meal ticket. The shop is kind of bad. Buy max health and not much else. A spoon, I don't think I want. Now, not now that we have feel no pain. But I'm happy to remove one strike. Red mask come back? Maybe not. <laughs> I don't th don't think I want to pay 300 gold for that either. It's yeah, it's really expensive max health, and we have plenty of max health. I don't think we need that. We could take another uh, metallicize. That feels like unnecessary. If we keep the rest of this money, we should have around 400 gold going into the Act 4 shop, which is perfectly fine by me, actually. DW Cowboy, thanks for the eight months of support closing in on that full year. Thank you, thank you. Not going to play Juggernaut against these two. I want to make sure we land the feed here with an upgrade. This means I should kill one of them.
Might take a little bit. That's okay. Oh, there we go. Act one card reward. A good floor one dilemma, actually. Which of these do you take on floor one? Probably anger, but you could you could get away with either of the other two. Now this is a good turn. Play three powers past the turn. I like it. I like it a lot. Block 18. Currently we're blocking 3, 3, 3. 3. Now we get a heavy blade. We can have the best of both worlds. I like it. Hello, Reptomancer. How are you today? You're looking like you want to kill me. I'm looking like I don't want to die, so I'm going to gamble right away. I don't like this opening hand very much. Something else. Some powers or something. No? No powers? No powers. Bummer. Alright, well, let's kill a dagger then. And delete some stuff? Delete armaments? Not sure about that. I'd rather not draw the other two. Can't mess around in this fight. We have to play Juggernaut. Do Heavy Blade Strike as well. I'm willing to do that. form being on the bottom was definitely a slight problem here. Now we're going to take some damage, but that's what the Reaper is for. Hit points back, thank you. damage. That was a great fight. 
Really showing off why we wanted that uh, Feel No Pain, too. The interaction between Feel No Pain and Juggernaut is just bonkers with the second wind. Just bonkers. Uh-oh. Excuse you. Who invited the wiggly thing? that was going to happen. Um, now I have to play Carnage. Followed by probably Second Wind. Lose Feel No Pain and Demon Form here, huh? All right. All right now I'm playing Juggernaut. You can't stop me. Calendar is about to go off. So, stop here. Let's see. Takes 52, brings it to 10. Then it takes 3 from spiking me. Then it takes 5 from the abacus. Yeah, we should not play any more stuff. It also gained 16 block. Okay, cool. Wanted to make sure I could feed here. There we go. Stay at full health. Sneko oil, always good with the Sneko eye. We take another shrug? Not really. Well, maybe. Eh, it's fine. It's fine. Time to get all our keys. We gotta recall. We gotta skip this relic. And we gotta fight the Burning Elite soon. Come the big hits, how well can we block? Becomes the question. Please stay weak. Okay, not too bad so far. Really hoping we'd get the uh, feel no pain down. Did not happen. Hoping we can kill this turn. Heavy Blade does 111 before we even snack any low on this fool. Heavy Blade. 
played free. So we play the Feel No Pain as well. That made second win free. Play the second wins. Then we can go Bash, Reaper, Heavy Blade, Beat. Delicious! A bottled Lightning to have a skill in the opening hand. I usually like Bottled Disarm just fine. Guarantees the first multi attack of the heart doesn't do much. Time for Carnage to go. Story Carnage. Heavy Blade is my new best friend. And so is Fossilized Helix, preventing the first time we would lose health each fight is generally a pretty desirable thing. Burning Elite is a super Reptomancer. It's a bit tricky. I think I'm going to use the buffer on this Hemokinesis here. We've got to get these daggers down, just like last time. I'm probably going to use the Sneko Oil on this turn. He becomes free, huh? fight. I can win full blocks. I lose the feel no pain, though. I don't want to lose the feel no pain. It's an okay turn. Goodness, you're here, demon form. Hmm. Or not might hit this one. This looks like it'll hurt, though. Ouch. Okay, at least we have all the pieces in play, really. Or most of the pieces in play. Including our demon form. Feel no pain. There it is. Dang, you're unplayable though, once again. Really want to play a second wind. Shoot. Guess we could do feel no pain, true grit defend. Or I can't even actually guarantee play this. Pretty bad. Maybe I just second win this time. Seems like the right play. Through the fight. It's good enough. Get squashed, lady. Second Juggernaut. Welcome to the team. First Juggernaut was great. Second one feels spicy. And we'll upgrade two of our skills to boot. Love it. Simply love it. That's a rude hand, Sneko Eye. Why have you done this? Why 
Why have you done this to me? Not the worst Neko Hand I've seen. I, I have, in fact, seen the uh, seven times three Neko Hand, which is uh, quite something to behold. We have to not get exploded, though. Hmm. Stop attacking me. I'm busy, can't you see? Strike Strike Feed does not kill. Has to be Uppercut Feed, that's 13 plus 15, that's only... Yeah, it's 28, that would do it. Can always Reaper the health back, right? Okay. Yeah, Quinto Bean, I, I suspect there's not a relic that upgrades two random powers because you are very unlikely to have two unupgraded powers at any given moment. That's my guess, anyhow. calendar though oh shoot I'm gonna kill them all right we have to go next turn then our last chance to heal dinky stone calendar take it. I will take it. And a dad joke for the crowd, courtesy of Space of Diamonds. Why did the vampire quit his job at the Mirror Factory? He just couldn't see himself working there. I've already got these cards. No refunds to a shot. Let's upgrade a Juggernaut. Certainly, I don't need to rest uh, going into the boss gauntlet here. Can upgrade Disarm, too. Although, it honestly doesn't matter that much. For example, the main thing Disarm does is shut down the heart's first multi-attack, but it does that whether it's upgraded or not. So, I don't think it matters. Not even going to play it here. No pain, why are you so expensive? So we're losing buffer on the first hit, even if I double defend here. I have to double defend Reaper, and I'm not going to do that, so let's just play Uppercut. Rip some artifact off Donu here, and I guess strike Donu with the third card. Kind of lame. Take 15 here. There's all my powers. Hello. Play a power. Play a power. Play another power. Play another another power. Run. Second wind. That's 12 block to a random target per instance of block that we create. That's pretty good. Uh, pick up other. I 
can always count on the Ambicus. Juggernaut, go! Pretty good. Juggernaut, go again! Speed go, I guess. Good enough. It's too powerful. What they all say. Ooh. An awkward turn one. This second wind will full block. Nothing else will. I guess we do get 12 from playing Reaper. And I've got meal ticket. I'm just going to use this on turn one here. Lose the Juggernaut and the Disarm both. Losing Disarm hurts a little bit, but I'm not too worried here. Got to play the uh, Demon Form. It shouldn't be too bad of a fight. Great turn for Dark Shackles. That's for dang sure. Try not to play this, feel no pain. Ouch. Our feet is here. Here we go. Started to get rid of all the chaff in this deck. Heavy Blade will be hitting very hard shortly. We get a little bit of assistance from Stone Calendar so we can put this thing down on this multi-hit turn. Which allows me to play the Feel No Pain. Clean fight overall. GG. Two thump, two thump, two thump. A deep pulsing dread could be felt th throughout the room. Is this the heart of the spire, the source of all these powers? You ready your blade dealing at 2073 damage. Pretty good year.
a pretty good year. I'm going to heal 15 at the shop here. Upgrade the other juggernaut. At long last, our child, Dark Embrace, returns to us. Welcome back, Dark Embrace. I also quite like a boat thingy. I quite like a card remove. I think our potions are better than these potions. Looks like a very good endgame overall. Lose a strike, gain some block. Spend almost all of our money. That's pretty good. Uppercut disarm, let Orichalcum block, but we lose our buffer if I do that. Whereas Flame Barrier will full block. Next turn's trouble, though. We'll get attacked for a lot of damage. Hopefully we draw a second wind. Would a challenge to get um, unique scores be feasible? I don't know that you have that much control over your score, though. I think that'd be pretty tricky to do. That is not second wind. It's not second wind. All right, we take 30, we draw 10 again. Good enough. going swear they hello and welcome have i ever perfected the heart many times so yeah we've beaten the heart without taking damage quite a few times that is very satisfying every time every single time i want a close line for the heart i think i might actually Close line. A little bit of weaken goes a long way in this fight. Ah, uh, this ancient potion doesn't matter. Huh. <laughs> Didn't think about that. Ancient potion doesn't matter. I guess I'll drink it. does matter. But my powers, though. If I could only play one power, it should be the demon form. And the feel no pain. If I could only play two powers. Don't want to lose this juggernaut, so I'm not going to second wind. Although it would save the buffer, wouldn't it? It would also get rid of a wound. Put buffers four, though. that. 
Have I ever perfected the heart with a perfected strike deck, though? I don't know if I've done that. Sounds more unlikely. We've had first Juggernaut, yes, but what about second Juggernaut? Perfect block. Massive retaliation. 105 damage back. Stone calendar value. GG, Mr. Hart. What a run. GG. GG. Does he even know how to lose? He does. He does. Happens from time to time, although not often when my first relic is Pocket Watch. GG. Now what, Twitch chat? Has it been done? The spire sleepeth, and so shall I. GG. GG. The final set on Pocket Watch, I think it was 466, if I saw correctly. Yes, 466 cards drawn. 2.3 per turn. Just casually, uh, twice as good as a boss relic. Ridiculous. More card draw than Snekawai. Truly absurd. Favor, Art Vandalay. I might be able to hit you up. Might be able to do that. If Pocket Watch were a boss relic, would I take it off in? Probably. Probably. Yeah, it would definitely be better than some of the current relics. Uh, like, it would often be better than Empty Cage, for example. But it's no stone calendar. It's true. Well, a pretty excellent first run. This is where I am going to take my first break of the day, Twitch chat. So I'm going to take a couple minutes to refill the, my legs. Get some more water. Back in five or so minutes for another clad run. So please, Twitch chat, don't go nowhere. I will be right back. <laughs> <laughs> 